Hi East York, how are you? Janelle Cameron here from Remax and uh, bringing you the November statistics uh, for your particular region. So this is again is for all of EO3, which is all of East York. So important number here is that the average price, and now this is across the GTA, of a home is 761,000 and change. Now, we have seen a drop for the first time year over year of 2%. So uh, as you know, we've been declining steadily since April, which was when we were at the peak of the market. And uh, we've now dropped 17% since then. Uh, but over a year, we've been holding steady. Now we've taken a little bit of a dip. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about what the value of your home is worth right now. What I'm seeing is a lot of people thinking that um, their home is worth what it was in April or May, but it's not. Uh, we need to be looking at what this property was worth a year ago and uh, take that into consideration for buying and for selling. In your particular neighborhood, though, things are going pretty well. We have a $913,000 average sale price for detached. You are actually up just slightly 1.32% over last year. So uh, we're still holding strong in the detached market there. Um, for semi-detached, and this is a surprising number, you're at 886,000. You've gone back up um, from last year of 5.52% because the semi-detached market was actually falling faster than the detached market in your neighborhood for a few months there. And at one point, a couple of months ago, actually outpriced the detached market, which is, um, which is interesting. So we have um, days on market average of 13. And so that's not bad, that's pretty reasonable. That's a little bit better than the average across the board of 18. And uh, your sales are down though. We only had 794 sales in November in the, in the region. And listings are up across the board of 37%. Same kind of trend that we've been seeing. We've got more listings, we've got less sales, more inventory. Uh, so that just causes everything to sort of flux. The important point to note here is that I think the latter half of November and we'll see in December the sales volume spiking again because everyone is trying to get in advance of the mortgage rules. So I've talked about that here before. I would love to be able to talk more about that. If you have questions, it's really important if you're planning on purchasing property any time from January onward, your purchasing power will absolutely be affected no matter how much money you have if you are taking a mortgage. So just reach out anytime and I can give you more information about that. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.